Hey guys, like always help here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking a look at iOS 15 and developer beta 4. The software has been out for two days now. And of course, in these videos, I'd like to come back and share with you guys additional new features and changes that I come across within the software after using it for several days. Now, the first thing I do want to mention is public beta testers. This is available for you as of right now as well. So if you want to download the software, it is available for both developers and public beta testers. Now, there's quite a bit of changes within beta 4 actually some welcome changes in case you missed my initial coverage apple has changed the notification icons for the notification section here in settings if we tap in here there's also a new option here for notifications when screen sharing so if you're sharing your screen with a tv or someone on a facetime call you can now control those notifications so they do not display on the other end which is really cool there's also some welcome changes to safari apple has added a reload button right there and also the share button is now available directly within the actual status bar there or the search bar within safari is as well but aside from that i've noticed additional new features and changes within the software and the first thing i want to talk about is this magsafe battery pack that apple released recently which did get support with ios 14.7 and ios 15 did not have support but now if you use apple's smart battery pack here and place it onto the back of a supported iphone you now get the animations and the lock screen with that on the latest ios 15 developer in public beta 4 you also get the actual widget right there within the battery as well so support for apple's magsafe battery pack is now available within the latest beta now if you create a single stack of widgets there's also some changes here as well if we go to edit stack here we now have a new smart rotate animation that applies when you go ahead and enable or disable the smart stack rotate right there and you also have right here a new animation for widget suggestions as well so if you click it on and click it off you now have that really cool new animation for a single stack widget so you can go ahead and implement those changes with new animations within the widgets there's also new widgets in case you did not know there's additional new widgets for the calendar and some changes to the news widget as well now aside from that there's also minor changes if we go to the lock screen here this iphone is running a previous beta so if we take a look here take a really close look and let me know what do you see different within the camera icon for ios 15 beta 4 and previous beta here take a look at the camera shutter right there it has a camera icon has the little shutter on the top left, if you will, of the camera icon. Here, it does not have it. You see that? That little button right there that was above the camera icon right there. You can no longer see that on the latest beta. It's now just a little camera icon with no like shutter button right there. It's very, very minor change. You really have to look closely, but it is definitely a change within the latest beta something that i did want to talk about because it is a change within the software and last but not least i want to talk about background sounds apple has enabled background sounds on ios 15 developer beta and public beta 4 if we head on over to the extension right here within the control center you can now implement a background sounds within ios so we can enable it obviously right here background sounds and if we tap into this option here we have different options to choose from this is very very useful easily one of my favorite features because it helps you stay focused and relaxed as you use your iOS device. Maybe if you're traveling and you're in a crowded area, this really helps you relax and stay focused on your device. You have to try this feature out for yourself. You now have the ability to enable it directly from Control Center. You have balanced noise, you have bright noise, you have dark noise, ocean, rain, one of my favorite. And then you have stream, which is sounds of stream. There you go. Let me put that volume up so you guys can hear that. It's actually very, very relaxing. Of course, the volume can be uh, controlled here, right here, as you can see. Uh, but the volume scrubber is not working properly within beta 4 which brings me to the next topic ios 14 developer beta and public beta 4 does have uh, several issues like third-party apps continue to crash for example twitter crashes for me every single day and as i mentioned uh, the volume scrubber or the scrubbers within the software are not working properly as you just saw there with the actual background sounds demo some of these scrubbers do not work as intended you can move them around and the volume does not go up and down as you can see you can't hear the difference between the sound volume 
because it is not working properly for some reason. Same thing happens to music sometimes. I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, it is something that's definitely an issue here. You see the volume's all the way down, nothing's happening. So yeah, sometimes the scrubber for the audio and media controls do not work as intended for whatever reason on the latest beta. But so far, the beta is looking good, although there's still some bugs as it is expected. There's a ton of improvements here as well. I like what Apple is doing. By the way, stay tuned for my follow-up video. This is uh, my second follow-up. I usually have another follow-up a week later where I take a deeper dive. I'll talk about the battery, the performance, and any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the software for for a week so stay tuned for that follow-up a week later thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video and have a great day i'll see you on the next one peace